excited because this is the first show in a brand new series and it's packed jam full of goodness. <laughs> Our rock and roll dance is over there. We'll be back later on to bop along to our very special guest, Sean Waddy Waddy. And not only that, we've got some surprise guests dropping in. We've got a random moment with Adam and the Ants and a brand new game called Popscotch. Great, but first, cast your mind back in time to the early 1950s. When, when Lynn was sweet 16. All right, forget the sweets. Knock it on the head. Before <laughs> rock and roll came skittle. And to tell us all about that, here's Chaz and Dave. Hey! Chas and Dave. In fact, I love all disco music. That wasn't disco music. Oh, you know nothing. I know more than you do. Not this, you know more than the producer. I mean, look at this. Elton John spin dryer. What is it? Exactly. We asked for a jukebox and look what we've got. A Frankenstein Wendy house. It's better than nothing when I just have to put up with it. Awesome. Deposit coins and make selection. Stands back in amazement. It speaks. What is it? Uh, have you got any money? We'll put some money in. Have you got 10p, yeah. please? Let's put this in here. But, uh, there you are. That's it. Thank you. Make selection, please. Oh, well, oh, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue. Try Peggy Sue. I love you, Peggy Sue, with a love that's rare and true. Oh, Peggy. Travel on. Travel on. Come on, Peggy Sue. Oh, well, I love you, girl. Need you, Peggy Sue. Oh, 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 oh. Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, oh Peggy, 
from my peg. Ooh, 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 well, I love you, girl. Need you, Peggy Sue. Ooh, 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 big fade out. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. Pitchy, pitchy, pitchy. That face, what's that face? Hey. You get what you pay for, don't you? Fine, fine. That really was fine. I wonder if it does any Adam the Ants. I record. sincerely hope it doesn't do any Adam and the Ants. Quick, give me some money. I've only got a penny and I was saving that for an emergency. This won't get very far, No. Will it? What are we going to do? Adam and the Ants? Thank this you. is going to be so embarrassing. Well, I'm back in here. Anybody watching Razzmatazz now, could they become an ant person? Yeah. And how do you, you go about it? You could be an ant person. You could I be like dressed like this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll get you a few tech chairs. Tech yeah. chairs. And what, what's the, your main aim then as a, an ant person? I mean, is it just to make everybody have a good time, just to play music, rock and roll? Well, I mean, I called it ant music because I got sick of people calling it rock and roll. Because <laughs> I've had 25 years of rock and roll, you know. Well, rock and roll is good, but yeah. I mean, you know, I, I still think there's, there's, there's loads of other bands doing things that I think they've got their sound. There's Nutty Sound with Madness, there's Astray Cats, they've got some cat sound, it's really good. Dexys Midnight Runners, you know, Intense Emotion, The Human League, British Electric Foundation, all those people, are great. You've got two drummers, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have, because I've got enough drums here, yeah. Oh, I've got two drummers. Well, do they go well, No, they hate, we all hate each other, everybody hates each other. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're all right. They're, yeah, they're great. It's Merrick and, and uh, Terry Lee Mile. And, they're, yeah, they get on very well. Because one of them's right-handed and the other one's left-handed, so they can look at each other while they're playing. And we have some more very good news for all you Adam Ant fans out there. The band themselves will actually be appearing live here on Razzmatazz in the very near future. So do watch out for that. But now, you know, seeing as no one's around, I think I'll have a look at this jukebox idea myself. I've only got two, P. Let's see how much I get for that. Thank you. Make selection, please. Ah. Oh, here's a good one. One of my favourites. Don't Go Breaking My Heart by Elton John and Kiki D. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. <laughs> oh, honey, if I get restless. Baby, you're not that kind. <laughs> so don't go breaking my heart. I won't go breaking your heart. Don't go breaking my don't go breaking my don't, don't go, go breaking, breaking my heart. Ta -da. Hey. Well done, Kiggy. Whoops. Did you enjoy being a human jukebox? It's very interesting. The band wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a proper band the next time. It's not the worst place for actually sing though, is it? No, no, it's uh, I think mm, the worst gig I ever did was uh, in the early seventies. In, in Sydney, Australia, and I did a working men's club on a Sunday morning to an all-male audience, which was really terrible. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I've got a cold, by the way. I'm from Croydon. Hope you get better mm. soon. Of course, didn't you do your first singing job in this actual studio? Yes, well, I did my first TV show years ago. Uh, I was, actually, I was 16, and uh, I stood on that very spot just over there by that gentleman. How did you actually get started in the business, Kitty? What made you want to be a singer? Well, I start, when I was about... Let's see, about as old as this little boy here, I discovered I had a loud voice and uh, I, was, I wasn't very academic at school, you know, and so I, I decided then that I was going to be a singer and that's how I just, you know, I, th I believe actually you can do anything if it's within your capability, if you really try, you know. I know you're uh, very busy doing gigs and touring and making records and appearing as a human jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get time for any outside interest? A little bit, yeah. Um, 
Most music people are totally into music and, you know, don't really do much of it. I do this sort of modern dance class thing sometimes, which is really good, you know. I'm really useless, but it's really good fun. And, you know, odd things. I like out the outdoor life, actually, a lot. But the modern dance interests me. Does that mean you'll be boogieing along to Shawadi Wadi later on in the programme? Oh, I'll be there, yes. I'll be there. <laughs> it's been great talking to you, Kiki. I hope that you'll come back soon and sing something for us the next time. I'd really love to, yes. Right, great. Kiki D, everybody. Thank you. Little Kiki there, and now it's the part of the show where you get the opportunity to jump on famous people's faces in a brand new game called Popscotch. Here's how it works. In front of me is a very large board filled with the faces of famous pop stars and pop groups. In amongst them are pop squares, which is the way you hop to the famous faces. The way you know who to jump to is by listening to bits of music played by the human deck chair, Mark, over at the piano there, giving you a little wave. Give him a wave. Give Mark a wave. That's it. I feel seasick. So many waves. Now, we've got our two guests are over here. Sorry about that. Two guests are over here. We've got, first of all, Alex. Where are you from? I'm uh, Ken. From Ken. How old are you? Twelve. You're twelve years old. And, and what's your favourite pop group? Uh, the Police. The Police. Let's hear a big cheer for Alex for the boys. Yeah! That's great. Now, representing the girls, we've got Dawn. Where are you from, Dawn? London. You're from London. How old are you? Fifteen. You're fifteen and your favourite group is? UB40. UB40. Without further ado, with Elton, our electronic optical notice board at the ready to flash up the scores, we start with tune number one. Mark. Off you go. Start hopping, because there you go. Oh, no. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Ah. Now, that, who was it? I think it was Dawn. Dawn, who was that? Cliff Richards. And? We don't talk anymore. Three points to the girls. Big cheer. It's going to be a close game as we move on to tune number two. Oh, where are you going? Ah, Dawn, who was it? Kate Bush and Wuthering Heights. Six points to the girls! Yeah! Would you believe it? Yeah! Tune number three. Tune number three. Alex is away, but where's he going? Oh, who is it? Susie Quattro and Can the Can, nine points to the girls. I don't believe it. Big cheer. Right. <laughs> now, the boys are getting pulverized, so we've really got to try and get one next time. Here we go, Alex, with tune number four. There he is. Who was it? And Shut up your face. Absolutely correct. It's now 9-3. All right. <laughs> the boys have just been limbering up here. All right, let's move on to tune number five. Nine three. Ah, who is it? It's twelve three to the girls. <laughs> Let's see how you do on this next one. Tune number six, Mark. And he's there. The police. The police and walking on the moon. Twelve six. We're catching up, fellas. Big cheer for the lads. Twelve six. Right. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next tune, Mark. 12-6. Come on, where is it? Where? Where? Oh. You stopped on that one, which you didn't know who it was. Yeah. You're on the right square, I know that. Who was it? David Essex, and Hold Me Close. Hold Me Close. So it's 15-6 to the girls. Big cheer. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next tune, Mark. Oh, that's it. That's the end of it. Come on over. <laughs> That's it. It's a big win for the girls on our first ever. Do you think that's right? Do you think the girls should have won? Yeah! I think they both did very well. Give them a big cheer and a round of applause. They did good. Yeah! Can you hold that for me? We've got a very special guest coming now. Dave Bartram from Shawadi Wadi with the prizes. Big cheer for Dave. Here he is. Right. Yeah! They did very well. What Great prizes have we got? Good. Wasn't he? Isn't he a good lad? Yeah. What have we got? A marvellous razzmatazz light up. T shirt. That's oh, that's right. Flashing on and off. It looks right. absolutely beautiful. There you are. So that's that. And we've got the top ten singles. The top ten singles. Times two. Times two. So you can have a set. And you can have a set. And right. a very and special a prize. Of, uh, Romeo's drumsticks. Romeo's Romeo drumsticks. Romeo's. Thank you very Which much you indeed. On the show tonight. That's great. Give them all a big cheer for doing so well. Didn't they do well? Yeah. Right. Rabbit, <laughs> Just count the ten, then count again, that's sure. 
to be an even better Multiplication That's the name of the game Generation Of a good same I want you but a fly Cast the net eyes Both in the same direction You'd never guess But one little yes The start of a fly collection But of the patient But at the end of the game In his generation Of his way of saying But let me tell you now I say you are one and five You can call me a silly ghost Or you can take two minutes As you win Ah, you got a real man code Girl gets caught in front of a boy After three or four dances Ah, you just bet your way Hard to get Pretty soon you got a room full of rabbits, parakeets, and lovely tweets. Sometimes they're too quiet. But to have no fear, cause soon you'll hear a parakeet's right just trying. Modification. But at the end of the game, in each generation, or they play the same. Talk about modification. But at the end of the game, it's amazing. That's that's it, I'm afraid. That's the end of the first ever edition of Razzmatazz. A nation breathes a sigh of relief. But don't forget to join us on next week's show with lots of fun, a whole host of surprise guests just dropping in. Sooty, listen, your heartthrob's going to be on. I know that, Alistair. I hadn't he forgotten. Is. He is. I was just trying to keep it to myself, You're you know? going to score there. You're going to do really well. You know what I mean? Do you think so? <laughs> oh, yes. Really? I mean, do you really think I Oh, right? yes, he likes older women. <laughs> that fell flat, Alistair. And oh. I'm sick of being insulted. Oh. I really think I've had enough, don't you? Yeah! Oh. Right, come on, Duke. Get him. Can't scare me. Come on, get him. What? 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 Ah! 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 Ah!